Hi, hope you all having a good day. So a couple of weeks ago, I published an open source portfolio template that's easily customizable. It's called Logsfolio and I'm happy to announce it now supports blogs. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick demo, show how you can use Markdown in Next.js and walking you through the code. Also, you can see I have a new video background. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. And yeah, let's get started. So this is Logsfolio. You can check it out on logsfolio.vercel.app. I will link it in the description. So in the last video, we talked about the initial details of the project. So if you haven't watched that, make sure to check it out. But long story short, you have your banner section here with your work experience, your projects, your education, testimonials. And now recently we just added blogs. But the coolest part about the project is all the data you're seeing is coming from this JSON file. So it's super easy to customize. So if you just want to change your name, you can just change it to John Doe. Let's start the project and PM run dev. And you can see the name is changed. So it's super easy to customize. But you already know this stuff, right? Let's talk about the new stuff, which is the blogs. Click on this one. And you have the header and the content. And all of this is coming from this markdown file. So in our app folder, we have our blogs. And I have a couple of folder here. This one is the welcome one. And you can see these are all the content you see here. Another great thing is since it is MDX and not just regular markdown, you can write your JavaScript logics here. As you can see, I have exported an object here that has some of the key metadata. And not just that, you can import your other components in your markdown file. So let's say I want to have a button that says press me. Let's import that, save, go to our blog, and you can see we have the button press me here. So it's pretty cool. And of course, the whole thing is open source, so you can access the code from my GitHub account. Just go to github.com slash arifblog slash logsfolio. I will link it in the description. We currently have eight stars. Hopefully, when the video publish, it will go past 10 so make sure to give it a star that would be helpful and now let me show you how the whole thing works so you can use markdown in your own code base so search for next.js mdx and click on the first link uh, let's switch to app router because that's what we are using here they have a nice documentation on how to use mdx in your project so the first thing we need is install all these packages. So copy, so pm pm, install. Next, you need to have a MDX component in your app directory. So we already have that in the source. Here you can see the MDX components. Just paste the whole thing here. Next, you have to go to your next config and make sure to export it with your with MDX function. Now, I don't know why they show you the common JS syntax here, but it should have been ESM. So you can see I just changed it to match the ESM. But if your project is using common JS, you should just use this syntax. And now you can just create your MDX file and it will automatically convert to HTML. In our project, I created a blogs folder to save all my blogs here. Let's create a new one. I'll call it test. And inside test, we can have our page.md. And here you can write your markdown. And next, we'll automatically convert it to HTML and handle all the routing and stuff. So let's just say this is test. And it should be a h1. Save localhost slash logs slash test. And you can see the content. But now if you go to home page, you can see we have an error. And that's because you can see in the home page at the bottom vlog section, we are actually importing all the vlogs and showing it here as a list. And that was possible because in all the vlogs, we have this metadata where 
you have the title description slag is published published date and stuff which you see here so let's create a one for our test as well and everything else should be fine save and we go down now now you can see you have a test if you click on it it opens up the page now you might wonder how do we get all the blogs listed here right well that part is happening on the root label page so if you go to the page section here you can see we have a variable called post that's calling a function and this function is responsible for importing all the data so let's open this up now this function might look a little intimidating but it's super easy let me explain how it works so first we are getting the blogs directory to fetch all these blogs and then next we are getting all the folder names i have a filter here to make sure we are only getting the folder names because you can see we have a layout here and we don't want to work with the layout we only need the folders right so i'm just filtering that out so if you just console this part post directories save you can see it just lists all the directories and next we are just looping through all the folders and importing the metadata that we exported in all our blog content so you have one here one here and one here now once we have the data i have a condition here that just make sure we have all the data in right format and if everything is right it just returns the data and if not it throws an error and once everything is done everything is saved in the vlogs and we just returning it at the end of the function and that's how we get all the data in the post so again we can just console this posts fresh you can see we have all the metadata and next we just simply mapping the data and showing it the ui and that's all for this video hope you guys liked it sorry if i sound awkward this whole content creation thing is not super natural to me but i am putting a lot of effort to improve and stuff so if you guys like my content please make sure to like subscribe comment and all those stuff that helps the algorithm and yeah that's all see you next time bye bye